Say that again, please. I thought you said, What am I wearing? <laughs> oh, did you? Well, just a moment and I'll look. <laughs> I'm wearing. Oh, I think that you think that I'm Miss Milton, but I'm not, you know. No, I'm Miss Lupin. <laughs> what do I look like? Uh, well, I'm. Uh, I'm lovely! <laughs> yes. And I'm quite tall, not too tall, but quite tall. <laughs> yes, and I've got red hair, fiery red hair. Oh, have you been running? <laughs> You're breathing very heavily. Oh, oh good. Well, <laughs> I'm wearing a, a black evening frock. <laughs> yes. What are you wearing? <laughs> Aren't you? <laughs> but you must be wearing something. <laughs> Perhaps you're phoning from the swimming pool. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I hope you've got central heating. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> are you oil or solid fuel? <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> Just a minute, dear. I'm on the phone. I can see that, dear. Who are you talking to? Well, find out. Excuse me a moment, but my friend Flora's just come in and she... I'll tell you what she's wearing in a moment. What I'm wearing? He's funny about clothes. What do you mean, he's funny about clothes? He's not wearing any. <laughs> and he wishes I wasn't. Good. <laughs> Who is this? Has he gone? Yes. Now I'll never know what he wanted. I could tell you. <laughs> I'm in the mood for love. You should have been here a minute ago. A minute ago? Why? Never mind that. Pick up that phone and dial the police. I hope it's not going to be one of those days. Why am I dialing the police? To get them round here straight away. Oh, and tell them we may need tracker dogs. <laughs> it is going to be one of those days. I'm enjoying it. Begin at the beginning, Mrs. Petty. Very well. My poor friend. Miss Lupin has had <laughs> a nasty nose, please. A nasty phone call. <laughs> On my phone? Yes. How unfair. I mean, <laughs> what? Would you like an aspirin? What for? Well, surely you're upset. What about? <laughs> Mrs. Petty, are you sure this phone call actually happened? Well, of course I'm sure. I was in the room, wasn't I? I took the phone away from you, didn't I? Yes, Flora, you did. So you heard this man too? Well, not exactly. Well, you see, I said, well, never mind what I said, he hung up. So we only have Miss Lupin's word that this phone call actually happened. How are you suggesting <laughs> that Miss Lupin's word is not good enough? Well... Well, I can understand that. But we must give her a chance. Now, sissy dear, stop staring at that phone. <laughs> now, we need more evidence. Tell Miss Milton all about the phone call. Yes, there was one. Oh, Miss Milton, there was. It went ring, 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 ring. <laughs> and, uh, excuse me, Miss Milton, I'm more used to her ways. After it went ring, 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 ring. What did you do? I picked it up. Oh. And then I said, hello. I said that twice. Hello, hello. And then? Then the man said something. You sure it was a man? <coughs> yes, because when I told him about my black evening frock and my string of pearls and my black patent leather high heel shoes and my red hair, my fiery red hair. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You haven't got fiery red hair. <coughs> well, he asked me what I looked like and I didn't want to tell him the truth. <laughs> Well, I can understand that. <laughs> but, Sissy, you're not helping yourself at all. Tell Miss Milton. No, Miss Lupin, don't tell Miss Milton anything. You don't believe her, do you? No. 
Now, Miss Lupin, why not go to your room and have a quiet hour with a cold flannel? I should have told him to do that, shouldn't I? Where are you? <laughs> oh, no, you're not. You're in no fit state to move. Why not? Because you're in shock. And if you're not, you should be. It's only decent. You have been verbally assaulted. Have I? Yes, Sissy, dear, I'm afraid you have. Well, what should I do, Flora? Well, some women faint. Oh, now, no. don't <laughs> I wonder why he chose me. For the umpteenth time, he did not choose you. You happened to pick up the phone. It was destiny. Speaking of destiny... Which nobody was. I was. And I am. When I was a girl in the early 50s... More like 50 in the early 40s, but you go on. <laughs> I am impervious to insult. I'm not surprised, Mildred. That's a third class. <laughs> Who's counting? I am. It's my Wincarnet. <laughs> that telephone call was a shock to all of us. Not to me, dear. I'm a woman of the world. Well, that's nothing to brag about. He'll ring again, you know. He'd better. No. Well, how else are we going to track him down? We. She said we. Mildred. She said we. Did she, by Joe? And what do we say? That's what I say. I... <laughs> <laughs> You've muddled me now. <laughs> Why do we always have to take the law into our own hands? What are the police doing? Nothing. Nothing will come of nothing. <laughs> Give her a jelly baby, sissy. The police are doing nothing because they've been told nothing. They are completely in the dark. I was in a play once when I was completely in the dark. Was it a murder, Dolly? <laughs> no, a power cut. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Flora, why are the police completely in the dark? Because our dear Miss Milton, in her wisdom, refuses to report the matter. What? Well, I really do think that's a bit she silly. She says, for all she knows, I'm making the whole thing up. As if she could. <laughs> that's right. I couldn't, mm. could I? Of course, some people do make things up. But I'm not stupid. I know how many beans make five. How many? Um, There's <laughs> only one thing for it. Five. All right, five. Things for it. For you to... Oh dear, where was I? Ah, Miss Milton. I know how we can get her to believe us. There's got to be another phone call. <laughs> <laughs> but who is to make it? Tell you what. What? I'll do it. I don't know why you give her this stuff, Mildred. I don't really. It's got to be a man. But who? Morning, ladies. Anybody want anything doing? <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Dear Roger. You've got to be joking. I was never more serious in my life. We want the police called in. So call them in. They wouldn't believe us either, not unless there's another phone call. Which you want me to make? Yes, and you will, Roger dear, won't you? No. Why should I? Why should you? I could say for the good of all mankind, or I could say, does Finchy know about the barmaid of the wheat sheep? Yes. <laughs> Finchy, my love, before you go, tell me this. Do I know the barmaid at the Wheat Chief? You ought to. She's your sister. Satisfied? I still think you ought to do it. For the good of all mankind. Do what? Miss Milton won't believe I've had a nasty phone call. But she will if she gets one herself, won't she? So Roger's going to make one. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Then the police can start looking for that awful man. You might have phoned your mother. You'd have had a job. We're not on the phone. <laughs> you might have phoned me. What? I'd have killed it. <laughs> She's petty, I'll make that phone call for you. And I've been working on him for an hour. Oh, thank you, Roger. I'll do the dusting later. Uh, just a minute before you go. What does Miss Milton do this afternoon? Is it a Monday? Yes. She goes for a ride on her bike on a Monday. Not this Monday, she won't. <laughs> Finchy, nip down to the garage and let all her tyres down. Oh, and while you're at it, you'd better hide her pump. <laughs> I could. You'd better. You got me into this. Oh, all right. Oh, she's a good girl. Yeah. Now, it's your turn. What do you want me to do? Say rude things. Oh, sissy. <laughs> Go to the phone box at the bottom of the drive. Ah, oh, but she'll see me from her window. No, I will see you from her window. Miss Milton will be at her desk. How do you know? Because it's sissy's job to keep her there. How? Oh. I'll engage her in intelligent conversation. <laughs> so, you see, you'll have to be quick. <laughs> 
you to stand in that phone box with two P in your left hand right. and this in your right. right. Oh, what's this thing? <laughs> it's what you've got to say to Miss Milton. What are you wearing now? I am not wearing Roger, it. Roger, disguise your voice. Well, now. Well, in films, they talk through their hankies. I haven't got one. Here's mine. <laughs> what are you wearing now? Roger, I am not wearing... fold it oh. and stick it in your mouth. <laughs> What are you going to do? I am going to do Another good idea gone west. What else do they do in films? Kiss a lot, though. <laughs> and sometimes they talk like French people. Oh, well, I'll have a try, eh? <coughs> Not tonight, Josephine. <laughs> Why not? Because the wind in the trees have ruined your hair. <laughs> I've got my net on. Sit, sit. <laughs> what did your man sound like? <coughs> friendly. Uh, loud friendly or soft friendly? Whisper friendly. Roger, whisper. All right. I shall want you in that phone box at three o'clock sharp. And remember, don't make that call until you see me in Miss Milton's window waving a white handkerchief. <laughs> don't look so worried, Roger. Nothing can go wrong. This has been very kind of you to show me your photograph album, but I can't just sit here. I do have a bicycle pup to find, you know. Oh, Miss Milton, please. Look, there's me on a donkey. Now this should be me, <laughs> on a bicycle. What's that? Oh, that's my sandcastle. <laughs> it would have won a prize, but the tide came in. <laughs> Time and tide waiting. <clears throat> <laughs> what are you doing, Mrs. Petty? Oh, um, well... If I had time, I'd clean those windows. Is he there yet, Flora? Yes. <laughs> what does she mean? Is who there yet? Is who where yet? Roger. Roger. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, jolly Roger. Our <laughs> uh, uh, little Robin, bless his little red breast. I think I'll give him a wave. Won't that frighten him away? Oh, no, he's not a real Robin. <laughs> Not a real Robin. Uh, no, no, he's, he's a starling who thinks he's a Robin sissy. What have I done with my handkerchief? You gave it to Roger. The Robin, the starling. Look, look at sissy's pictures, for goodness sake. Lend me your handkerchief. I haven't got one. Well, I must have one. To wave to a Robin? No, I don't. Uh, 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 I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sneeze. Please, Miss Bill, let no, me... I've got a pink tissue. No, it's got to be white. I can only sneeze into linen. Oh, oh, very well. Oh, hey, 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 oh, 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 for you. <laughs> Someone with a very sore throat. It can't be for me. It's supposed to be for you. It's your phone, isn't it? Hello, what's gone wrong? <laughs> now, hang on a minute. I just remember where I think she put... Where I think I saw your pump. Where? In the cupboard under the stairs right at the back. What's it doing there? <laughs> I can talk now. Now, what's gone wrong? Why did you... Ask for me and not Miss Milton. You can't find what? I don't believe it. He's lost a bit of paper. <laughs> Look in your top pocket. So I should think. Now, next time, ring and ask for Miss Milton and not for me. You can't find what? Hey, hello? Hello? Oh, dear, I'm worn out. 
Ha, 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 ha. You found it. Yes. <laughs> Two things puzzle me. How it got there and how you knew it got there. Well, uh, I can explain. How, Flora? Well, give me time. <laughs> I'm waiting. Well, ah. I am having one of my psychic days. Mrs. Pitt. And I would advise you not to mock the power. It is very strong. <laughs> I am willing that telephone to ring. I am willing that telephone to ring. I am willing to <laughs> I say. Who is it? Well, I don't know, do yes, I? Yes, you do, oh, right. It's for you. Thank you. Hello. Yes, it is. Hello. Uh, would you speak up, please? It's a very bad line. Please remember to whisper. <laughs> well, I won't. <laughs> Suggestion. <laughs> One moment, please. Mrs. Petty, Miss Lupin, please leave the room. Do you think we ought to? I think you've got to. Leave the room. Very well. Come on, Sissy. Can't I stay? No, go! <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. But would you mind starting again from the beginning? <laughs> I still think it's a horrid idea. Well, can't your wife do it? <laughs> Flora? No, now I'm thinking, Sissy. Flora? What? Can you make that vase of flowers move? Well, if you want me to. <laughs> Not like that. Like you made the telephone ring. I didn't make the telephone ring. Roger made the telephone ring. So he did. That's a disappointment, isn't it? Because I really thought you were psychic. Well, don't be too sure I'm not. I've got a very funny feeling. But Flora. <laughs> well, I still don't see why you're asking me. Oh, you've tried everyone else. Very flattering, I must say. <laughs> All right, put it another way. But my answer will still be no. What is Roger saying? <laughs> Rude things like you put on the piece of paper. Not like I put on the piece of paper. And why is she still on the phone? She should have rung the police by now. Perhaps she's enjoying it. How could anybody enjoy talking to a man like that? But it's only Roger. Well, she doesn't know that, does she? Let's have another listen. Excuse me. Not now, Roger. Well, when then? I mean, do you want me to make this phone call or not? What call? The call to Miss Milton. But you're making it. Laura, I know I often get things wrong. No, you're right. <laughs> Why isn't that you on the phone? I told you I ran out of two peas. Oh, well, if that's all the... <laughs> Just a minute. Who is on the phone, then? Well, whoever he is, he's saying rude things. Is he? He is. You see, it's not something I feel I'd be good at. <laughs> well, tell me something. And please note, I make no promises. <laughs> Is the horse used to this sort of thing? <laughs> My man didn't say anything about a horse. <laughs> if you'd have given him time, he would have. <laughs> What's going on? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? She's got the real one on the phone. No, no, he wouldn't win the same number twice. After the welcome she gave him? I did too. Poor man. Oh, Roger. What? Now take that 2P yeah. and go down to that phone box. Again? Again, yes, again. And this time, phone the police. Yeah. Tell them what's happening and ask them to trace the call. But what if they ask for my name and address? I tell them you're the operator. They always listen in. <laughs> I thought of something. Oh, no, sissy. He can't say he's Mickey Mouse. It's only to save you money, Flora. Well, he doesn't need 2P to ring the police. Oh, thanks a lot, Miss Lupin. I was going to invest that. <laughs> She'll be off the phone by the time I get down there. Oh, no, she won't. Run! I don't know why I stick this job. <laughs> Flora, how are you going to stop Miss Milton? Bring it off. Easy. Listen to this. One moment, please. Come in, Mrs. Petty. Now what? I want to use the telephone, please. And so do I. I'm using it myself. Well, would you please hurry? Out! Out, the pair of you! <laughs> now, let's start again from the beginning. And take your time. 
देखा <laughs> well, whatever turns you on, I've got a new pair of Wellingtons. <laughs> oh, hello, Flora. <laughs> I caught you at it, haven't I? The willing victim. I wanted to be prepared. I'm sorry for you, Dolly. I really am a woman of your age. And here's another one I'm sorry for. Where have you been? <laughs> I needed another hanky. What are you crying for? That poor man who rang me up. Poor man, he's a beast. He's not, Flora. He's just misunderstood. I agree with Sissy. All he needs is the love of a good woman. Or a bad one. He's not fussy. <laughs> You're out of your minds, both of you. We'll have a flag day for him, shall we? Launch an appeal on TV. <laughs> I think I'll sit with you, Dolly. Do, dear. I say, there's all hell let loose in the village. <laughs> the vicarage is surrounded. But when? The police, dear. Panda cars, tracker dogs, motorcycles. I was told to move along. But that's funny. Oh, Mrs. Tanchel, thank goodness you're here. Could I beg a drop of your Wincarnis? I'm out of bride fly. And I'm out of Wincarnis. <laughs> You've had a nasty phone call, haven't you? No. Well, yes and no. The vicar rat. The vicar? Yes. Flora. Uh, no, 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 just a minute, Sissy. Do go on, Miss Milton. You made the most extraordinary request. I ask you, ladies, can you see me as Lady Cadiva? <laughs> Lady Godiva. With a WI pageant. I say, is he still looking? No, you can keep your clothes on, Dolly. Is that what the police are doing at the vicarage? Waiting for you to take your clothes off? No, Miss Lupin. They're there to arrest the vicar. What? They charged him with making an obscene phone call. Oh, there must be some mistake. Well, of course there's some mistake. I'm off to the cop shop now to bail him out, I shall tell them. All he wanted was for me to take my clothes off and get on the milkman's horse. <laughs> I'd rephrase that if I were you. Well, I can't think how it happened. Oh, I can. Now, sissy, for goodness sake. Oh, I can. <laughs> You see, Miss Milton, it all happened because Roger ran out of two peas. Oh. And then he came back here and we didn't believe it was him. Why not? Well, because he can't be in two places at once. Even Flora can't. And she's psychic. Not with flowers, though, because she has to use her hands. <laughs> Is anyone following this? No, Miss Milton, it's one of her bad days. Go to your room, get the cards out. I will follow you in a moment and we'll have a nice game of snap. I'm fed up with being fucked off. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Cathy. I couldn't have coped. That's quite all right, Miss Milton. That's what I'm here for. I'll go and attend to her. short. Not too short, but just quite short. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Sissy? My auntie in our 